Off we go. Let's now push the E4. Let's try and manage the center. Let's keep on trying to manage the center if that's what they want to do. Let's hit the center before we get carried away. Excellent. Let's take. Take with the queen. Could take with the queen, but maybe too early for the queen. But let's take with the pawn. Got all this space around here. It's like magic. So many options and choices. Queen putting the check on. Coming for the pawn. So the bishop's not going in front. Don't forget. All right, loads of spaces. Let's put a check on there, King. Try and go for the simple, obvious moves. We could just take the knight off the board, but we still do have an X-ray through to the King. So it's still a bit of a power base. So we could just put a check on their King to give them something to think about. Easily defended with the knight or the bishop. Don't forget, they still have an X-ray through to our queen. So we could go on castle. Is there any other trouble we can cause them? Could attack the pawn because it's got it's got the bishop protecting, but the bishop can't defend. But are we waking the queen up to come here and attack the bishop because it's got no protection on? Let's go and castle first. It's all a bit arty, but you know, it is doable. It's just, it does give them that, but now we've got the rook here defending. But they'll probably give us things to think of. Ooh, they're not doing. Okay. So if we did this, they've got time to go and castle, haven't they? So then that takes that sting away. Whereas if we bring the rook here, then we've got two on one. If they castle, we can get the bishop. That's a horrible position, but I think the knight's probably going to come here to defend the bishop. Oh, they want my queen to move out of the way, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to double the pawns to maintain the pressure here. But like we said, the knight can come and defend. not doing that just yet so he's not gone castled all right so does that mean we can get another piece in to try and cause some trouble that blocks the attack but does attack here but then the knight's there okay can the bishop take pawn takes how does that look i feel we need to be getting the knight out if anything, nothing clear. Queen could come here, stopping the castling altogether. What can the knight do? Come round and attack. I think if we sit the knight queen here, it kind of really, oh no, they've left the game. I was just gonna say, it really kind of solidifies the impact of them not being able to castle I suppose they could do these sort of things, give us things to think about if we take, take, or if we just move back, he just chases us, move the bishop out of the way. So it's not, I don't think it's that clear cut. Let's come back. So like I was saying, it's not, there's nothing definite anywhere here. They can reposition. You would think that this smaller piece would be attacking the bishop. Woman and Aaron, do we take? Because there's, we're equal on pieces. There's no material gain on either side. So if we did take take, then it's just um, it's equal. I'm just thinking we come back here. We drops there. We come back. Try and squeeze the bishop into this white scared area, but the pawn is protecting at the minute. 
but I'm sure the rook is going to want to move at some point so that might be a nice position for the bishop so I think we just drop it back if the pawn drops back so they've moved the rook the knight is protecting so we could bring the bishop here attacking the pawn but the rook then goes and defends so we could come here then the rook defends the pawn Hmm, because we've not got our pieces in, they're not, and again we did want to do this to attack the pawn there, so if we did it this way, then the bishop attacked the pawn. So there's things to consider, I'm actually just going to go with this quiet sort of move, and it showed they'd left the game again there, to try and attack the bishop because the bishop can't take because of the check through from the queen also thinking about this as well but i'm thinking let's get more potential pressure on here is the rook is looking to attack maybe or are they going to go with the attack attack at this point so obviously we're not going to go back this time we'd have to sit it here to get that um beautiful position they're flicking like crazy here aren't they Okay, so they're attacking. So if they do take, they've got to check on our king. King has to move. Uh, if we do take, he's got two pieces on the pawn. So they are giving us things to think about. This knight doesn't have any protection on, so the bishop can take. Pawn takes. The rook's just got one solitary check on. So I think we'll just go with the bishop taking the knight. And just move the king across. Not seeing any danger because the queen is stuck on the back. If it's going to make its way around, it's not got to check on our king. Bishop can't move, knight can't move. So I'm not seeing any major attacks apart from rook coming here, but there's nothing there. King can't get to move out of the way to let the queen in. So that looks fairly manageable. Rook needs to move, I think, because the queen is... Yeah, there we go. So it's attacking the bishop. And is this one of those cases where we can let it go? If we attack the rook, if he takes, then we go there and it just like a mate. So I'm just going to keep the pressure on and see what choices they make. as you can see we haven't developed the knight yet but it's one of those cases where well it's always the case we try and make sure that the moves that we make they mean something so at this moment in time it didn't mean anything so they're moving real quick so we can come here the bishop's got that the knight's got well the knight can't defend so we would be able to get some sort of mate thing so i'm going to put the check here nothing else can go in the way and the knight can't, like we said, take once the queen takes the bishop. 